Y-O-U-Tube, it's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. Today, we're going to transform this sweatshirt, an all-white sweatshirt, into a one-of-a-kind Nipsey Custom. We're going to be incorporating some of that Vinyl Supply Unlimited Fashion uh, Shimmer Spray. However, you can get it at Vinyl Supply Unlimited. And we're going to see what we can transform this hoodie into so we're starting with a complete blank canvas and we're gonna make some magic out of it maybe use some quotes some of the sayings that nipsey hustle had used um some of the inspiration you know so the marathon must continue let's tap in So, you guys have just seen everything that I'm about to use to uh, create this custom, one of a kind, custom, classic. Uh, I chose to go with the rapper, um, the late, great Young Dolph, um, Nipsey Hussle, and Kobe Bryant. Um, well, I said Nipsey Hussle. I don't know, I'm gonna try to incorporate him in here one way or another. I did get a picture of him. I just didn't get to put him on the cutting mat. So actually there's gonna be Tupac, Young Dolph, um, Nipsey Hussle, and Kobe Bryant. Uh, if you have any questions like my layering tips or maybe you would like some extra time or some type of training, links will be in the description. Hit them up, let me know something, and I'll try to help you out as best as possible. Oh, why I'm on it. Hopefully I see you guys at the impression show in Long Beach. Um, there was an update the other day. The GO himself put it out. Um, if you don't know who the GOAT is, that's T-shirt side hustle. Go check him out over there. Uh, he's doing like a, a sort of play-by-play -play or a news conference, but he's letting us know what's going on play-by-play -play as far as the uh, restrictions, the guidelines, and all of that. So y'all make sure y'all head on over there and check him out. Also, I need y'all to go check out 12 on Apparel. My homeboy, my brother from another mother, he putting up mad designs. Y'all make sure y'all go support, show some love, and you will be seeing me and some new attire coming out shortly as well. G Fit Grit with me. The latest one. Right here. Well, she looks pretty slick. All right, so you see that I got my white shirt and I got it in here twisted as if I'm going to do some type of tie-dye action which I'm not gonna do tie-dye action. I just needed a safe place to spray and it's like zero out there. I know it look nice and sunny, but it's, it's cold as heck out there. So I got it inside my uh, heat transfer warehouse box right there. Shout out to them. And I'm getting ready to spray this with my fashion sprays. We got the red shimmer. We got the uh, yellow. We got the uh, fashion shimmer, which is like a uh, magenta color. And shimmer just means it has glitter in it. We got the uh, blue and green. Uh, originally, I was just gonna use blue for the Nipsey Hustle theme, but then I added extra characters or actual extra wrappers. So I didn't wanna just do the blue. Maybe later on down the road, we'll get into that, but yeah. I guess that's a word that I heard coming up. I don't know if it's a real word. Y'all don't judge me on it. But what is some other tips as far as spraying? How else would you do it? Drop a comment down below the video. So right here, I just spray in the uh, shirt in like a swirl pattern like you guys see me have it bunched up. I had to go back and flip it and spray it again, which you'll hear me actually explain it because... The levels uh, color was really not achieved. You would think with it being white, it would just spread easily, but it didn't. Um, I got the most coverage I think I needed out of it. I didn't go back and actually respray it, but yeah, I was just going over the colors. Once again, shout out to Vinyl Supply Unlimited. Y'all make sure y'all head on over there. See what I was talking about? That blue is a little bit aggressive. Check it out. I took over. But we're going to flip and then we're going to repeat. This has to be heat cured or you can let it sit for 24 to 48 hours. 
I ain't got 24 to 48 hours. So I'm gonna heat cure it via the heat press. And you can see the swirls and everything. So hopefully this come out bomb. I'm gonna flip it and repeat. All right, y'all. So after hitting with the fashion spray, I had to flip it over and hit it again with the fashion spray because I had seen that it didn't get as much coverage as I did want or intended or needed. However, once you do that, you just simply hit it. You hit it with the heat press to cure it. Matter of fact, I'll grab a bottle and read the instructions. So after you hit it with the uh, fashion spray, you want to heat set it for approximately A, letting it sit for two hours just by itself without hitting it with any heat, or B, using your heat press and actually stamping it a couple of times. That's just to make sure that the colors do not bleed when it goes to wash or when it gets wet. Trust me, you're going to want to heat set it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit more and step back. Now, it has been drying a little bit, but here it goes. And I did like the uh, swirl effect, so it would give like the tie-dye. And then I just went in to spray crazy. Now, what I might do is since there's still so much white showing on here, is I may go back and just do like splatter sprays once I actually put the wrappers on here and some of the quotes. But and come out too bad. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Keep in mind, this is heat setting and I've cured a good part of it. Somehow I lost the video. So I'm flipping it over and doing the same thing that I did to the front, to the back. It's not cured all the way through to the back because it is a sweatshirt. So it's a little bit thicker material. I figure out why my camera stopped. Yeah. Now I'm just pressing it for 15 seconds at a time just to cure it. And I'm making sure that the sheet, once I remove it from the sweatshirt, that it doesn't have any ink on it. I've done it plenty of times, well, like I said, so I'm, I'm kind of used to it working with the fashion part. All right, we're dry. We're completely dry. Got like a little swirl pattern. Like I said, you guys will see more of it. I may spray, may not, may do a little bit more. Just depends. So now let's weed it and let's actually get some of the characters on to that sweatshirt. I want to show you guys when you're first heat setting it. Um, once again, this is a old DTF carrier sheets. I recycled them. You can kind of see where we're, the wet sweatshirt actually was laying on here and that actually transferred that alcohol ink. It's dry on here now and you don't have to worry about it, but it's definitely important to cover up your heat press with parchment paper, some type of something, just to make sure you don't get that transfer over because you don't want to transfer it over to the next item that you do, whether it's a sweatshirt or a stocking or socks or whatever it is. That ghosting or the transfer could be a nightmare, trust me. So as you can see, it's coming along. I'm cutting out a few more um, rappers slash athletes that belong on here. It's gonna turn out pretty dope. And showing Dolph right there, Tupac, Shara, you know, Kobe. Let me show you who else. 
ODB, Nipsey Hustle, Juice World. Camera Floor doing what he do. Working his magic. So you can see the uh, sweatshirt is coming along nicely. I added a few more. Uh, Nipsey Hustle, ODB, uh, Tupac, Juice World, Young Dolph, Kobe. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with any more. I know I'm going to do some sayings. And I'm thinking if I... I'm probably going to make this a two-part video, y'all. Because I've been here since this morning and I'm ready to get up out of here. But I do want to put like quotes, sayings, their names... Like, you can kind of see the Tupac right here, so he's really not going to get a name. But I was thinking about using this pattern right here to tie it all in and then show you guys the finished result at a later time. Yo! Thank you, everybody that's been supporting. And, you know, the top of the year, 2022. Y'all, we about to take over this year. We're going to keep on doing more interesting things. If you like content like this, I make it all the time. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. And also, we bring to you two to three times a week a podcast that's just full of valuable information and gems that you may have not known or something that can help you advance in your business right now. So y'all, tap in the Squad Creative Podcast. Go ahead, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, drop some comments, peruse through the videos. Appreciate all the support. All has been well. And you know what? Y'all continue much luck and success in y'all future endeavors. I'm going to keep saying that because at the end of the day, it's about us prospering. It's, us, it's about us growing together. And that's what I plan on doing. As for the remainder of this video for this shirt, this video has come to an end. Now, you guys have seen that I did uh, cut out a few more characters to put on the actual sweatshirt. Uh, there's going to be some sayings and some other things. So there'll be a final version. And to see that final version, I may post it as a short, or you can head over to Squad Creative's group, ask to become a member. There you'll see the finished product. Also, it might be on Instagram and surfacing somewhere around on Facebook. But until the next one, y'all, I got to get up out of here. I'm done. It's nighttime. Your boy been here all day long. It's time to go. I got to get something to eat. The stomach is roaring. I got an interview. Yo super dope interview and i'm hoping to see y'all there but as with all good things this one must come to an end and we are up out of here make sure y'all go like comment subscribe squad create a podcast right now asap go do it peace